C-SPAN's local content vehicles are traveling the country, visiting congressional districts to look at the most closely contested House races in this year's midterm elections. Well, the one thing about this race and some other races in Pennsylvania is with Pennsylvania having an earlier general election, we sometimes can set the pace for what happens across the country. For both sides of the aisle, the Republicans, a lot of the pundits are saying that they're going to take back the House. Pennsylvania, with races like District 12, could be the first step towards that. On the other hand, if Democrats across Pennsylvania have a strong showing, that could mean that you know, they're going to retain the House. So I think that after our election on November 2nd, you're going to hear a lot of the political analysts saying, well, we thought this, but this is what happened in Pennsylvania, especially in the 12th District. The candidates are running who are going to be at our event tonight is uh, current U.S. Representative Mark Pritz, who won in a special election when Congressman John Murtha passed away, and Republican Tim Burke. You know, I went to Congress to do things, and that's what I've been doing. And uh, initially, I was uh, thrilled because in my campaign, I talked about closing the tax loopholes that uh, allow companies to ship jobs overseas, or they get a benefit from shipping jobs overseas. I voted to close that loophole. Um, I'm happy to say that I uh, sponsored and supported a bill that we're going after China uh, for manipulating their currency. The United States has the second highest corporate income tax rate in the world. If you're going to go move into a, a new community, you know if you lived on 1st Street, you'd pay 1% in local taxes. If you lived on 20th Street, you'd pay 20% in local taxes. I bet all of you would be looking to live as close to 1st Street as possible. It's the same thing with multinational corporations. We have the second highest corporate tax rate in the world. That ships jobs overseas. I think we've had been well represented by Mr. Murtha for over 30 years. Mark has continued that, Congressman Critz, and I want to see that continue. I want a congressman that represents us, that's not a puppet of third party interests and global business that I, that's for outsourcing, like the forces that support Mr. Burns. Obviously, I, uh, I think Tim Burns was, was uh, the victor by far tonight because he, he has a little bit better ear. He's, he's a, a person that started a small business in his basement, became a millionaire. He has common sense, which is lacking greatly in D.C. Um, he has a, a touch on, on, on the, the business needs that we have. Uh, he's a family guy. Uh, I like to hear that. On the other side, I heard a lot of the old government rhetoric that comes out all the time. And it's exactly what I expected. Uh, but what I'm finding is, is all of my neighbors are totally tired of it. Well, I worked for Congressman Jack Murtha for 10, 10 years on his official staff. Uh, ended up as his district director, and when he passed away and Mrs. Murtha decided not to run for the open seat, I, I really had sort of a, a, an epiphany or, or a, a watershed moment where I felt I really had to do this. So I started to run. I ran in the special election, uh, announced on February 22nd, won the special on the 18th, May 18th, sworn in May 20th, and then I'm running again for, to, for a full term. Congressman Pritz is very close with the family. And when I interviewed him, he would tell me that it was really, you know, Joyce Mercer, John's widow, who encouraged him to go out and seek out this seat and run in the special election, which he ultimately won. Well, Tim Burns is um, another interesting story. He started in the race about a year and a half ago um, when John Mercer was still running. And he's a businessman. He started a pharmaceutical software business in his basement and grew it to, I think, 400 employees and then decided, uh, in a lot of interviews that we've done with him, he said he decided to enter this race because he was upset with the direction the country was going, and he wanted to be able to tell his two young sons that he did everything he possibly could to change the direction. If you look at the poll numbers, and, and, you, and you really take a, you take a long, heartfelt look at where the popularity of Congress is and the president and on these politicians, really, it's, we're no different than anybody else. And, and that's the beauty of the Tea Party. Okay, it's not an elitist club. Everyone's welcome, and we and we just have everyone come together, and we don't preach to the choir. So to say that the, you know, say what's our opinion of Washington? It's no different than anybody else is watching me right now. I have no problem with Washington. <laughs> I I don't really have issues to debate. I would just like to see things progress and see hear our voices heard and that money comes in, and that our children get educated, and that people get health care. You know, I don't want to talk about Washington, D.C. I don't want to talk about Washington, P.A. It's about me. It's about you. 
You know, I can tell you that uh, I said at the beginning that, uh, you know, I haven't taken a day off since I started running February 22nd because it's so important. I've done six telephone town halls. I did six public town halls to listen to what you folks had to say. I don't work for the White House. I don't work for Nancy Pelosi. I work for you, and I want to continue doing it, and I hope you'll support me. You know, if you think this administration is taking the country in the right direction, then Mark Ritz is your guy because he votes with the administration 94% of the time. But if you believe that I, like I do, that we can do better, if you believe that you want someone who will fight for what you know is right, if you want someone who will fight for you, then I would ask for your support on November 2nd. Leading up to the November 2nd midterm elections, we're traveling the country and visiting congressional districts where some of the most closely contested House races are taking place. For more information on what the local content vehicles are up to this election season, visit our website, cspan.org slash LCV.